hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video i'm going to talk about some other institutes who have started their application process now i'll try to cover as many institute as possible in these videos but i will also request you to keep keep an eye on all the other iits on all the isers and on all the nit uh, websites uh, so that you get informed about the phd admission as soon as it starts right so today's first institute is iser bhopal we'll talk about iser bhopal over here so the phd application has started and we will just talk about that what are the eligibility criteria and what is the last date okay these two things we will talk about so uh, to submit the online application for chemistry you have to click over here i'll give you link for this particular website okay you can come directly to this website from the link in the description you can come directly so to submit online a phd application for chemistry you have to click over here and you will can fill the form later on uh, department of chemistry offers research in the area so these are the research areas uh, for okay i'll just zoom this up a little bit so that you can see so in organic chemistry there are so many topics in this supramolecular crystallography transition metal chemistry so many things are there organic chemistry also physical chemistry also just look upon the topics over here minimum eligibility is msc or mtech degree in the relevant discipline with a minimum of 60 percent marks or cgp of 7 on the 10 point scale okay so that's the minimum eligibility which they are asking uh, mathematics in 10 plus 2 level is desirable so it's not mandatory but it's desirable if you have mathematics in 10 plus 2 it's good if you don't have then also you can apply okay so for an application to be considered in physical chemistry mathematics in 10 plus 2 as well as in bsc is mandatory so if you are planning to do phd in physical chemistry then mathematics is mandatory okay for other organic and inorganic it's not mandatory but it's desirable if you have it's good if you don't have still you can apply for that okay uh, next or uh, there are few more things that how the cgp is going to be converted and all uh, additionally a national level examination like net national eligibility test gate ugc jrf csir jrf inspire phd net ls uh, rajiv gandhi fellowship or any other recognized score is mandatory so you should have any of these as qualified so if you are just gate qualified then also you can apply the certificate slash fellowship must be valid at the time of admission so your uh, like your certificate should be valid at the time of admission means the gate certificate if you have it should be valid for the time of admission means it should because you know gate admission or gate uh, scorecard is valid for three years so you should have a valid gate scorecard okay national level examination is exempt for uh, those which uh, those people who have done btech from iits or ISAs with CGPI more than uh, CGPA more than 10 uh, more than 8 on a 10 point scale so those who have done masters or BSMS and BTEC from IITs or ISAs they don't have to qualify any of these national level exam they can directly apply students whose CSIR net result uh, of CSIR net or Rajiv Gandhi fellowship or inspire or any other equivalent fellowship is awaited may also apply with their roll number mentioned in the application okay so if you have qualified if you have filled uh, like if you have given csi net exam and if you think that you will qualify it then also you can apply with your roll number right so in the case of result awaited relaxation of five percent or the equivalent marks is for the students of scst and pd categories all the other things are given to you that it will all the communication will be done through email and all the things so you can check it out shortlisted candidate will be asked for interview once the interview will be, will be done then only you will be advised to take the admission process and so on important date is that application is going to be end on 7th of april so 7th april is the last date please make a note of this particular date don't miss out the date all right so this is about iser bhopal now let's talk about the next institute the next institute is Iser Behrampur. Okay, so Iser Behrampur uh, also has started its admission to PhD program in July 2022 session. Let's come up to the chemistry section. So there are these are the area of research. You can check over here. Uh, chemistry faculty profiles you can check from here. Again, the link to reach out to this website I'll give you in the description. You can come directly over here. Eligibility is MS, MSc, MTech, M Pharma, MBBS or equivalent in any discipline of science with 60% marks or CGP of 7 or more. If the transcript slash grade sheet issued by the institute university reports only marks, percentage will be considered and if it only reports grade then CGPA will be considered. Okay, So you can check it out. Additionally, you also need a national level examination like NET, 
और गेट और यू जी सी जे आर एफ और सी एस आई आर जे आर एफ और जेस्ट और एनी ऑफ दिस एग्जाम सो अगेन सेम एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एज योर आइजर भोपाल ओके एवरी थिंग इज सेम वन मोर थिंग इज देयर दैट दोज पीपल हु हैव डन बी एस एम एस और डुवेल्व डिग्री ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम आइजर्स एंड बी टेक ग्रेजुएट्स ऑफ आई आई टीज विथ सी पी आई मोर देन एट दे आर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल दे डोंट हैव टू क्वालिफाई एनी नेशनल लेवल एग्जाम फॉर दैट ओके Again, students whose result for CSI or UGC Net Fellowship uh, or any their equivalent fellowship are awaited may also apply with their roll numbers mentioned in the application. So, very similar to Iser Bhopal. Uh, this is what we have. You can click here to apply for the PhD program. The last date is not mentioned over here, but once you click on this, here comes your uh, page, and here is the application deadline. So, online application deadline is 24th of April. So, we have quite a bit of dates. to apply for this these are the steps given to you you can register over here then log in and then fill the form it's pretty simple to fill the form so i hope you all will be able to do it so please go through this aizar behrampur website and if you are interested you can apply for this let's talk about the next institute the next institute is iit gandhinagar okay so iit gandhinagar has also started its admission process so important dates are over here that 31st of march the application is going to end so last date is 31st of march from 8th of april the shortlisted candidates will be uh, like the list will come up from 11 to 17th april uh, interviews will happen and from 4th of may uh, the result is going to be announced let's look upon the phd brochure for this so that we can understand that what are the things which are uh, like uh, uh, which are given to you so fine you have phd in all the subjects so chemistry is also over here you can see and the other highlights you can check out and uh, this is the deadline for this 31st of march okay other details you can just check out to the website of it the details and the eligibilities are quite similar that means your gate qualified you should be gate qualified and you should have 60% of marks in your masters these two things should be there so this is about iit gandhinagar let's talk about the next institute so the next institute is iit hyderabad iit hyderabad has also started its application process application process has started from 14th of march and it will end on 3rd of april so that's the date up uh, till which you can apply for it uh, the departments you can go to this website and you can check out so you have all the departments over here department of chemistry is also over here and uh, instructions to fill the form everything is on this particular website you can check it out so in order to fill the form the first step is to register on it the second step is to log in then the third step is to apply like click here to apply then fourth step is to fill all your details fifth step is to pay the fees so these are the uh, fees which you have to pay over here uh, then sixth step is to submit by clicking submit application seventh step is to take the print out and eighth if you are called for the written test or interview you need to carry all your doc document print out for your application payment reference document and certificate with you so please make the uh, like print out of all the documents or just keep a soft copy of all of them save in your doc uh, in your institute like in your system uh rest of the things you can see over here incomplete application will not be accepted so make note of this okay so this is about iit hyderabad again all the like uh, all the eligibilities and all the things are common for all the iits so you don't have like these things are not mentioned over here you can check out the brochure for the detailed information about it let's talk about the next institute the next institute which we are going to talk about is inst inst is institute of nano science and technology it's one of the dst funded institute i have already discussed about this in my video where i have discussed about in which institute you can apply through gate if you have not watched that video please watch that the link is there in the i button you can click and watch that particular video so the last date is again 31st of march to apply for inst let's look upon the advertisement of this so this is the admission for phd program in august 2022 session and uh, let's look upon this so eligibility is msc m pharma or m tech in basic or applied sciences engineering or related areas student who have appeared in the final year semester exa examination are also eligible provided that the degree will be granted by at the time of joining qualified at least one of the national level exams which are those exams gate csir ugc net jest uh, j g e e bills and then tifer ncbs 
all these things are over here age limit is up till the uh, like as per the csi ugc and dst uh, limits right application and selection process is given to you. you have to fill the form you have to apply over there and once you will be selected you will be called for interview once you will be done with your interview then you have to uh, you can take the admission over here application fees is 590 rupees for general obc and ews candidates and 295 for sc st and ph candidates all right and these are the details where you have to pay the fees last date is 31st of march so in case if you are interested to join inst if your interest is, is in nano sciences if your interest is in material sciences then inst is the best place where you can apply okay uh, next let's come up with your gate rank okay apart from iisc and others so yeah uh, these are the research units you can look upon you can see the topics what research these are going on in over here and looking upon that if you think that you are interested in any one of them then yes you should apply for it so we have covered five institutes in this particular video and uh, if any other institute will start their application process like still IIT, uh, either Kolkata, either Pune, either Mohali, they have not started their application process. So once they start taking admission, I will inform you on this particular uh, YouTube channel only. So please stay tuned for that, subscribe the channel to get uh, updated about that. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey guys. So, I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas, in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much